People of Reddit, what's the dumbest argument you've ever had? I had an agreement with my then three-year-old about which one of us was being crazy only to realize that the simple fact that I was having this argument with a toddler meant that I in fact was the crazy one. So not only did I have a stupid argument with a three-year-old, I lost the argument. Someone was telling me that Half-Life was a rip-off of Gary's mod. My friend and I were doing a quiz in class and the question was Rome is the capital of which European country? I said that it was Italy. Which is of course right. And then my friend told me that it was Paris and told me I was being stupid and I should listen to her. TLDR friend thought that Paris was the capital city of Rome and argued with me about it. Reminds me when I had someone calling me stupid when I told them that no. Nigeria is not the capital of Africa. They walked away all smug too. I fucking hate when that sort of shit happens, it's impossible to win an argument against an idiot. Haha <laughs> a girl from the US once told me that she had been to England. And when I asked where in England, she said Amsterdam is your, I tried to explain to her that Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, and is not in England. She argued with me saying that they spoke English with a British accent. And so, according to her logic, it had to be in England. I did not agree. In the end she just said, well I'm just gonna keep telling people that I have been to England, and then she walked away, spent a year as an exchange student in a cornfield in a remote place in the States, had a lot of interesting conversations and arguments lol. Whether cars speed up or slow down when you hit the brakes. I was in high school. Everyone had recently gotten their driver's license. And there were a couple of future Mensa Society members sitting next to me. Let's call them Kaylee and Bailey. Kaylee. OMG Bailey. How did you get that bruise? Quote. Bailey. OMG. I had a car accident yesterday. It was like. The worst. Kaylee. Girl. WTF. Like, how did that happen? Quote, Bailey, I was driving, and there was a stop sign I like didn't see. Then I like, hit the brakes really hard. But like you know how like when you slam the brakes the car like actually speeds up. Quote, at this point, my inner asshole couldn't contain itself. And I chimed in, Dragnal, only if you happen to slam the brakes right as you are going off a cliff. This actually started a two month on and off argument where she insisted slamming the brakes can cause the car to accelerate. She most likely hit the gas on accident. Maybe her brakes locked so she didn't slow down as quickly as expected. Who knows? I wonder if she is somehow talking about how a person can be jerked forward as the car brakes. Which is really just the car slowing down at a faster pace than the person inside of it. Yeah, this is what I assumed. I mean, Op is so busy trying to be an asshole they apparently can't help. But common sense would tell me she meant she was jerk forward from slamming on the brakes suddenly. Or, I'm wrong and she accidentally hit the gas. IDK. Just this morning a co-worker told me that testes and testicles aren't the same thing. When common sense doesn't work, Google does. If bears were animals or plants, no I don't know either. Greater than no I don't know either bears or animals. Glad to clear that up for you. No no no. Bears are fungi. They sprout from the ground after fairies have danced there. Both. The Venus bear trap is terrifying. One day I was talking with a kid and I said disgusting. He told me it was a swear word. And we argued about that for 15 minutes. I was talking with my aunt and she was telling me about her friend who did some really stupid stuff. At the end, she asked me what I thought of her friend. I was about to say that her friend was an idiot. But my aunt is very religious, very judgmental, and is overly sensitive about foul language. Instead I say that her friend acted foolishly. She still threw a hissy fit because I used the word foolish. Makes me think we weren't talking about her friend. The Grinch is gender. Middle school was fucking weird. You wouldn't touch the Grinch with a 39 and a half foot pole because that pole is a part of his body. Weird because there shouldn't be a debate. 
he's repeatedly referred to as his Tim, etc. The song literally calls him Mr. Grinch. Yeah, well, middle schoolers are stupid. That women's periods last more than a day. God, that was a weird argument. A guy did believe that viruses were real. They aren't. Haven't you heard? Those viruses are just 5G magnetic signals that disalign you electrolytes and makes your immune system go crazy because of excess chemicals in your bloodstream, monsieur. That is why there were no viruses before 2018. I know you're joking, but consider that people think cell signal towers can chemically affect you but pepper spray is not a chemical. What was his take on bacteria though? Whether a color is brown or orange. Both of these are colors. Brown is just dark orange. That's a hot take if I've ever seen one. Whether the upvote button is red or orange. No it's gray. The remove upvote button is orange red. A now ex-girlfriend got mad at me. Because, when we were together, I was mad at her for flashing other dudes at a party. Not my argument but one I witnessed as a 10-ish year old that fascinated me then and still makes me bewildered to this day. In any case we were visiting friends of our family and the husband and wife got into a loud, drawn out, screaming, in each other's face argument on whether to serve creamed corn or frozen corn for dinner. I was in awe and wanted to hear the end, but my parents quickly ordered us in the car and we had to leave. To this day I wondered why anyone would argue so viciously over corn. I did find out that couple later got divorced. But again, I really wished I could have seen the finale and still wonder why we weren't allowed to see it to the end. Usually when people have such seemingly asinine arguments, it means that there were a lot of already underlying issues that got tipped by something as small as being indecisive over corn. It sucks. Yeah, that's kinda insane that people would argue, and that intensely, over what type of corn to serve. Just OMG, clearly popcorn was the answer. There was a post in the IATA subreddit from a mother who said her daughter made her own meals in the household, but her husband, the father, tended to eat the monsieur so on one particular night the mom was in the kitchen and the dad came in, and, again, ate the daughter's food. Mother did nothing to stop it. Daughter came in and was like, yo WTF. Father didn't apologize and instead told mother to cook more food. Mother told him no and that he should get her food instead. She wanted to know if she was an asshole for ultimately not cooking, ordering more food for the daughter, who ended up eating nothing that night. People in the comments were like, full on the mother's side and didn't think she was an asshole for not feeding her child. Like the dad was primary asshole, but they didn't care that the mother had played a part in it too. So that's probably the dumbest argument I've ever had. Trying to argue that a parent's job is to feed their hungry child instead of trying to prove some stupid point in an argument. I had an argument with a customer at work over the phone about what day of the week it was. He called to ask why. Thing. Hasn't happened. I said we do. Thing. On Wednesdays and then he said yeah today is Wednesday and away we went. I was begging him to find a newspaper or to look at his phone or something but he kept saying I was wrong. The reason he thought it was another day than it was in reality was that there was a soccer match on TV which he thought was going to be played on Wednesday but it was held on Tuesday instead quite the solid argument. My sister was determined that you can see Adams if you look close, she's 19. 4 carat th of July company party. A friend and I grabbed a bottle of tequila at found a corner. Later that night after we had finished the bottle, we almost got into a fight over who would get to take the empty bottle home. The boss came over and took it away from us. Whether Goofy was a mouse or a dog, Stand by me flashback incoming, that's weird, what the hell is Goofy? How to pronounce my own fucking name. Like, it's my name I say it how I want. Ha ha ha. This happened to my wife on her second day of work. Guy said her name wrong. She politely corrected him with it's actually blank. And he just asks, are you sure? Quote, 
what a turd, whether or not Smurfs are mammals or some kind of egg-laying species. Thanks to the Venture Bros. Whether fries are actually fried, it's a long story. Not only are fries in fact fried, most places fry them twice. I fry my fries, then fry them, then fry them, then fry them, then fry them, monsieur. And yet, refried beans aren't. Yes they are, just not deep fried, they're pan fried, but just once. Refried comes from the Spanish refritos which means well fried. Whether Kermit the Frog's nephew was a tadpole or a frog. In high school German class. For some reason we came across the German word for tadpole. I leaned over to my friend next to me and said, like Kermit's nephew. He responded that Kermit's nephew was a frog. We started getting into it a bit and got loud enough that our teacher, who would often give us some leeway, felt the need to intervene by asking if there was something we needed with the rest of the class. I looked at her, almost angry from the argument, realized how stupid it was and started laughing. Well, I think Kermit the Frog's nephew is a tadpole and less than friend greater than thinks he was a frog. She paused for a minute, then said, I think he was a tadpole, and went on with the class. For the record, in Muppet form, the nephew was a frog but appeared as a tadpole on Muppet Babies. The argument you have with your sibling when you tell a childhood story, and they say, no, that wasn't you it was me. Instant rage, completely irrelevant, whether mascara actually makes your eyelashes longer or not. Still don't know the winner tbh. I mean, without looking anything up, mascara at a microscopic level adds to the eyelash. So it's got to be at least a very small amount longer. Ah, thank you who can't wait to show this to her. Birds are not dinosaurs because T-Rex was not a bird. And pterosaurs were flying dinosaurs but they are not birds. So how can birds be dinosaurs? Quote, asterisk my brain cells dying, asterisk please. Lord, have mercy, gray or dark white? How is that even a question dark white is obviously correct. People these days, I swear to FCK and G God. A management trainee working under me forwarded an entire email chain where she asked me if the client spoke English and I replied with, not very fluently, but he thinks so. So shoot the email in English, asterisk to the client asterisk, and she insisted it was my fault. Her reason, asterisk I approved her email draft and I should have clarified I meant just the draft, not the entire email chain, asterisk she has never received internal email protocol training, that doesn't exist, asterisk she thought it's important to always have the entire email chain for documentation purposes. I understood why her college was nicknamed University for Spoiled Children. And before someone thinks I'm a cranky old fart bashing on millennials. I'm also a millennial. When this happened, I was 22, she was 24. Whether or not an insect my best friend and I saw was a wasp or a bee. It was the stupidest thing ever. We don't argue a whole lot. In the cases we do. We normally accept our differences and that's that. But not this time. The reason why I say it's the dumbest thing is because we actually got angry at each other and started arguing for real, hitting each other with things like you never listen, you always want to win the arguments, and you're always talking bull. At this point, it wasn't even about the beat wasp anymore. It got to a point where we started arguing loudly. And our friends didn't want to intervene. We stopped talking for the rest of the day. Cause that's how heated we were. We were kinda tense for a week or so. But we eventually forgot about it. When we talk about it now. We just laugh. Yet. She still says, I still think it was a bee. And that was the time a freaking bee got in the middle of my friendship. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.